How's it going everybody? In this video I'm gonna be showing you inside the book uh, Hands-on Machine Learning with Psychic, Learn, Keras and TensorFlow um, Concept, tools and techniques to build intelligent systems uh, This book is uh, based on Jupyter Note Notebook so uh, all the code in this book will be uh, available on GitHub so you don't have to actually write uh, um, the code yourself uh, like you can see, uh, he has a lot of um, a lot of Python code in this book, uh, but you don't have to actually write it yourself. You can just find it on the GitHub, uh, and it's uh, pretty well organized. So uh, each chapter is uh, uh, easy to find. So this is uh, how the book looks like um, in the uh, part one. The fundamental, fundamentals of machine learning. He uh, describes what machine learning is uh, and end-to-end uh, -end machine learning projects. So that's the projects that you will be working on uh, with the book. Uh, so uh, next is classification. Uh, the book covers uh, training models. It uh, covers support vector machines. Um, it covers uh, decision, decisions tree, ensemble learning, and random forest. Uh, it talks, it uh, shows uh, dimensional reduction uh, and unsupervised learning techniques. Uh, and in part two, neural networks uh, and deep learning. So it's an introduction to artificial neural networks with Keras. Uh, and then uh, training training deep neural networks, custom models, and training with TensorFlow. So that's uh, the second edition is uh, using TensorFlow uh, two, um, and uh, then it co covers uh, deep computer vision using uh, conventional neural networks. Uh, it covers process sequencing using RNNs and CNNs. Uh, it covers natural language processing uh, using um, RNN and uh, attention, um, and it covers uh, representation learning and generative learning using autoencoders and GAN. Uh, then it covers reinforcement learning, um, so uh, and it covers training and deploying TensorFlow models at scale, and uh, then it exercises solutions. So after each uh, each one um, chapter or sub chapter, there's exercises uh, which you can uh, do. It asks you questions or uh, asks you to do something, and that's uh, how you learn. Uh, typically, uh, you will just re uh, read the chapter and then do the exercises. Uh, yeah, that's how uh, the structure of this book is. Um, this book is for people that want to learn machine learning and have some concept of what uh, Python is uh, and what uh, Pandas and Seaborn, what uh, what that, that is. So if you have some idea of what uh, machine learning or is and want to learn more, uh, this is a great book for it. Uh, but throughout the book, you can see uh, images, uh, green, uh, orange uh, the orange scorpio there's a green monkey and then there's a bl blue crow um, so he shows you uh, in uh, in the beginning what this means so in uh, i think it's somewhere here in the uh, in the beginning of the book, it's not in the beginning, it's in uh, somewhere. Yeah, here. So uh, the element signifies a tip or suggestion if it's a green monkey. Uh, if it's a blue crow, it's, uh, this element signifies a general note. And if it's a uh, orange Scorpio, it's uh, the element indicates a warning or caution. So, uh, like I said, uh, throughout the book, you can find code examples. Um, 
which will be in the Jupyter Notebook that you can find on GitHub. Uh, but then it uh, has a lot of images, diagrams um, to explain what everything is and how everything works. Um, so uh, it also has a lot of uh, math formulas. So if you want to get into uh, machine learning, there is a lot of math involved. So I would uh, suggest uh, learning at least uh, linear algebra and uh, a lot of uh, other math uh, related uh, topics because uh, the book uses a lot of machine learning uh, algorithms using math and uh, just in the real world uh, the projects are uh, using formulas from math so this is something that I would suggest you uh, study. Um, then, like you can see here, uh, this is a boundary for the Iris dataset. Iris dataset is one of the most popular machine learning uh, datasets to uh, begin with. Uh, also, the Titanic uh, dataset. Uh, these these two are probably the most uh, uh, most used uh, datasets uh, when you're beginning. Uh, to learn uh, but this is how the book looks like uh, for those interested in uh, purchasing it uh, so yeah if you want to see more videos like this one where I go through uh, books that I own or books that I have um, you uh, can subscribe down below and I will uh, leave a link to the uh, playlist for other inside the books uh, in the description Thanks for watching.